we're going to be using the Matrix Wellmate. It's a liquid dispenser, and we start by turning it on. This is the back of the instrument. Come around to the front and turn it on over here. And you can check at the bottom here that it's on. Adjust for the plate height if needed. This works for most of our plates. If you want it to restack your sequence of plates into the original sequence at the end of the dispensing of a stack of plates, then you would toggle this on. If you want to load plates with lids on and have it automatically remove the lids and put them back on for you, then you can toggle that on. And then over here is where you can either um, load a program from the memory or just set a certain volume, in this case 25 microliters, make sure it's set to the plate format that you want. And over here, there's a device that adjusts for the different positioning of the wells in 96 or 384 well plates. So put that appropriately. We're doing 384 well plate. And I'm going to show you how to load the cassette. We have several cassettes. Um, this is an example of one for 20 to 2,000 microliters. Um, the dispensed liquid comes out of the spouts at the end, and the amount dispensed depends on the diameter of the tubing, since it's a peristaltic-based device. And this is the cassette we're going to use for 1 to 200 microliters. And I'm just going to set the camera down since this is a two hand job. All right. So to load the cassette, you start by putting the spout end into this holder there, and it just clips into place. And then you Put these underneath here. The right hand side part goes on the top and the left hand side part has two holes that go onto two pins and then there's a metal lever here and you lock it into place like that. Let me show those details again. So this part comes in and out here. This part gets, let's undo this first. This part here gets loaded like that, which simply just rests on the top. This side, there's these metal pins and corresponding holes. It pops on there, and note that there's four tubes on each side. And then you use this metal lever to lock that up there and push that up, lock it into place. Okay. And then normally you would have a sequence of solutions for washing the set. I usually do soapy water, hot water, bleach, two rounds of deionized water, and then ethanol. And I'll show you how to do that. same for if you're dispensing or priming or, or washing, um, you, and note that the um, tubes will fit into a 15 or 50 mil falcon tube, um, but basically you put this little end into whatever you're dispensing. Um, and note that there are eight tubes, so if you wanted to dispense a different solution into different rows of your plate, then you can simply remove the tubes from the holder and put them in whichever solutions you want to use. All this is is a holder to keep the tubes in place. Um, it's heavy, so it goes, helps them go to the bottom of the tube. Um, it's not really doing anything magical. Um, and then you hit prime in order to get the solution to prime the lines. Um, and I'll show that in. I'm just hitting empty now to let it go back. 
Um, normally don't set anything there because the plate carrier will crash into this position here. But we're just for demonstration purposes. Um, so when I hit prime, you'll see the liquid line come up. And then you'll see the spouts. And note that this trough goes to a tube that's going to a collection bucket um, and make sure that's set up before you start. Um, but put it away when you're done for safety reasons. Um, they don't like having open waste bottles lying around. Um, and if you're washing, you can do a prime and then empty and prime three times with a sequence of different solutions to wash your tubing. We've got soapy water, hot water, bleach, water, ionized water, and then ethanol. Um, now that it's primed with our solution, we're ready to dispense into a plate. I'm just gonna set this aside um, for now. Sorry, don't have enough hands. So over here, well, let me show you how to load the plate. So, um, these stackers, you just kind of lift this up and then open it. And then you can easily just put your plate into there and close them again. And when we hit start, the plate carrier is going to come up, pick up the plate, and then it goes over here to drop off the lid, if you have that activated, and then it comes over here to dispense. Um, and And it will continue to do so um, the default for a 384 well plate is to not dispense into the last two wells since those are often used for controls. If you don't want it to be done like that, then you can use a different protocol from the memory. Um, and it comes up here and drops off the plate and now has its lid back on. And then it's going to go over there to get the next plate. So you can imagine how after sequence of plates, they're, they're going to be in a different order. If we had the restack on, then it would just move them all back to the original position um, so that they're in the same sequence. When you're done, you want to wash the cassette with this sequence of liquids again, and you will take your plate, you will remove the cassette, put it away in the drawer, you know, close up the waste, and then turn off the stacker and turn off the device and then you're done.